this is Coco, and uh, he's my fat cat, my chunky uh, British short hair cat. And uh, um, I brought him here today because uh, our topic for today is going to be about how to make your cat fat. Okay, and uh, hopefully, <laughs> so hopefully uh, you'll be able to have a chunky cat like Coco. So this is Sir Nikolai and I'm going to give you some tips on how to make your cat fat. Who doesn't want a fat cat, right? A chunky cat. Um, cats are much cuter if uh, they're a bit uh, uh, on the fat side. Uh, but of course, um, not to the point that they're obese. So maybe we have to discuss right now, um, what is the average weight of uh, an adult cat? So if you research about it, uh, what they'll tell is that the average weight of an adult cat should be around 10 pounds. Okay, and 10 pounds is good weight for a cat, and 10 pounds is roughly around three and a half to four and a half kilograms. So if your cat has that weight, good. So your cat is actually um, just right, right weight. But you can actually um, also consider the breed because um, breeds of cat will also somehow show you different um, average weight. So for example, um, you guys uh, would uh, know probably the Maine Coon. Maine Coon cats are huge, like really large cats. And uh, um, actually for them, even if the Maine Coon adult cat uh, reaches 25 pounds, that's still actually a good weight. So that's not yet considered obese. And so that's the reason why um, it really depends sometimes on the breed of the cat, whether uh, the cat actually is, um, you know, um, of average weight or obese so maybe um, some of the good things to do uh, to check if your cat has a uh, you know correct weight is to look at it uh, to look at your cat physically so there are actually physical signs that you can check uh, whether you can say that the cat is uh, healthy or uh, of average weight or if the cat is obese or uh, thin so uh, one of the things that you can do is uh, you can just uh, Try to feel the ribs of the cat. So when you feel that the ribs of the cat has uh, you know, a bit of slight fat, that's actually pretty good. That means your cat is uh, of just the right weight. But if you just feel the bones and just the bones, then that might suggest that your cat might be underweight. Okay, And if all you feel is really just thick fat, that's obviously um, you know, a sign that your cat is obese. Okay, Next. Um, how should you know that uh, the cat is uh, also physically healthy? You can look at the cat from uh, uh, from above, and then you should still see some waste, you know, uh, from uh, the top view of the cat. Uh, if there's no waste, that's obviously again the cat is obese. But if the cat, uh, you know, is the waste is really protruding, then your cat might be um, underweight also. Okay. Um, and final thing that uh, you can also check is. Uh, if you try to, um, you know, um, grab the skin of the cat, um, you should also uh, feel feel a bit of fat also when you do that. When you crumple on the skin of the fat, uh, skin of the cat, so there should be a bit of uh, fat also, just a bit. But uh, if all you feel is just the skin, again, underweight, and if uh, it's all just fat, then your cat is obese. Okay. So strictly speaking, cats need uh, to gain weight only if they're underweight okay but i know that some of you uh, who you know who uh who's watching this would really want your cats to be fat i'll still give you some tips um you know on how to make your cat uh, gain weight but generally speaking um if your cats are uh, you know experiencing some of these symptoms um 
your cats definitely uh, your cat definitely would uh, need to gain weight okay so these are some uh, pretty simple symptoms okay uh, your cat needs to gain weight if number one your cat's ribs are protruding and the hips are also protruding so you can see physically that they're uh, that they're uh, thin um, second is that uh, your you notice that your cat uh, is uh, meowing because of hunger a lot of times uh, your cat would need to gain weight also um, if your cat is weak also that's a sign that uh, your cat uh, would need to gain weight and one final thing that you will notice uh, with cats that need to gain weight is that their uh, coat or their hair is dull or um, you know uh, it's rough so that's a sign also that your cat would need to gain weight okay so let's now um, talk about um, um, what are the different uh, steps on how to actually make your cat gain weight okay so uh, i'm going to give you uh, five tips okay and these five tips are all about food because uh, the other tips are actually uh, not really connected with the weight gain but it's more about uh, you know making sure that your cat is healthy so let me just uh, uh, say those right away vet uh, checkups uh, yearly would be good for adult cats uh, playing with cats also would improve their mental health and also give them a, a bit of energy um, and then uh, uh, if you want fluffy cats obviously you have to uh, brush uh, the cat's hair but um, in reality what would really make the cats uh, fatter definitely would be food okay so the rest of my tips are going to be on how to make your cats fat by actually feeding them the right uh, kind of food okay so these are my five tips on what you can feed your cat so that uh, they'll be fatter okay so let's start first with uh, uh, the simplest uh, thing to follow and that is uh, you have to be choosing healthy wholesome diet for your cat okay and what does healthy wholesome diet mean okay this could mean that uh, you have to feed your cats uh, food that are high in protein that means uh, you know your cats must be eating more meat than anything else okay so what does that mean um, high protein would mean uh, more meat um, and then low in carbs because some cat food are actually padded with uh, with carbs that your cat doesn't really need okay so when you're buying some food for your cats uh, what you might want to avoid is uh, if you see this in, in the ingredients um, corn wheat soy uh, byproducts those are not really good for your cat okay you might want to ask um, how about when it comes to the decision between dry food and wet food what kind of cat food actually will uh, you know uh, fatten your cat better okay so the experts will uh, agree with me that dry food is actually better for fattening your cat Okay. So more dry food, and the reason behind that is because dry food of cats have more calories. Okay, so if you uh, actually have been following my uh, my YouTube channel, so I've already made videos on uh, cat food, and uh, if you're going to ask me right now, on top of my head, my top three recommended uh, dry food brands, so I would say Power Cat, Royal Canin, and AOZ. Okay, so those three uh, brands uh, uh, and cat owners will agree with me that those are probably the three best brands of dry food right now in the Philippines. Okay, next. Um, my next tip for uh, fattening your cat when it comes to uh, food is uh, you might want to actually give them kitten food. Especially even with your adult cats, feed them kitten food instead of adult food. And why is this? Actually, kitten food has higher protein and fat rather than the adult food. So you might want to actually uh, feed your cats uh, kitten food. And this is something that I noticed. Um, as you know, I'm a cat breeder. And uh, um, at this point, I've been feeding a lot of kitten food to my uh, cats and even adult cats. And it's actually pretty okay. My uh, adult cats are, uh, you know, are gaining weight and also getting healthier because of the kitten food. So that's actually pretty good. Okay, so kitten food instead of adult food can help also make your cats fatter. Okay, number three, 
Uh, number three thing to do is um, maybe you have to also uh, uh, try to use tasty treats as well. So um, I recommend chow churu. Chow churu is very good for uh, you know for treats. I I say maybe fifteen percent of their daily diet can be treats, but not more than that. So fifteen percent is great. Um, and then when it comes to the daily intake, I would uh, suggest also if uh, if you can feed your cats like uh, smaller portions of dry food every now and then, that would be great also. So some suggestions uh, are um, you know if you feed your uh, kittens uh, dry food all the time, they might not actually uh, you know uh, be enticed to eat regularly but if you feed them small amounts of dry food every now and then the cats uh, will actually you know like it better um, it's actually better also to do it like that because when the dry cables stay on the you know on the bowl for a long time so sometimes it loses uh, uh, it loses a bit of its uh, uh, crispness crispiness and so Sometimes uh, some cat owners will, uh, will say that it's better actually to give them very little amounts of dry food many times of the day, many times during the day. And uh, for wet food, um, in my case, I usually just feed wet food twice a day. You can actually do it three times if you really want your cat to be fatter. That's okay also. Number four, um, another thing that can fatten your cat are actually supplements. So vitamins will be okay. So LCVIT is a uh, multivitamins, um, but other um, supplements can also be fish oil. Fish oil is great also for cats because fish oil um, is something that uh, you know that uh, uh, that makes uh, the cat uh, uh, like the food better. And this is something that uh, I uh, actually experience uh, not actually with fish oil, but another supplement that I find that the cats also cannot really resist is virgin coconut oil so vco vco is very interesting because the moment i started mixing vco to my cats a regular diet i noticed that they actually like my food better so that's the reason why um you know my mother actually was the one who recommended vco to me and um ever since i tried it my cats actually eat better so what I do is that uh, I sometimes mix a dry food, wet food, and uh, a spoon of uh, VCO. And this will be good for uh, maybe around four cats or five cats. So maybe less of that if you have only one cat. But a bit of VCO is good for your cats. Okay? So that's my uh, tip number four, supplements. And finally, another thing that can also help your cat uh, eat better um, is some human food that they actually like, okay? And there are only three human food that, uh, in my research, uh, these are actually okay for cats, okay? So, number one is plain yogurt. So, plain yogurt, as long as there's no extra flavors, that's okay for cats. Um, the other one is scrambled eggs, okay? Again, same, uh, do not mix any other flavors and make sure that uh, you really scramble the eggs, you know? And uh, finally, is uh, you can also feed them uh, um, canned uh, fish, but in water, not in oil. So if you find like, a, for example, canned tuna in water, that's actually okay also for them. Okay, so those are uh, samples of human food that can actually be good for your cats. Okay, so definitely, um, I hope that uh, your cats will get fatter uh, because of uh, my tips and uh, this is something that i'm slowly also doing to some of my cats because um, my cat earlier that i showed you coco is uh, actually he, he's a big bone cat and so that's why he really is chunky uh, by default and uh, you know and he also has very good appetite but i have uh, other cats uh, i think that still needs uh, to gain a bit of weight so uh, these tips that i research uh, i'll do um, you know, I, I will uh, try to also follow them and uh, hopefully it, uh, I will see some good results. So that's all. So thank you all so much, uh, you know, for uh, watching this uh, episode. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Okay. Um, uh, I'm happy actually because uh, slowly I'm uh, reaching the, um, the required maximum watch hours that uh, I need for my 
channel to be monetized. To those of you who are supporting my channel, thank you all so much. Uh, I, I really need it and hopefully uh, you can support me a few more because in a few days uh, we'll be able to reach uh, the target uh, watch hours. Okay, so thank you all so much and till next time.